Folks, telephone poles and hydro poles really wear out just like anything else. But you know, there's a lot of good wood above the ground, and there's got to be another use for these. Let's go and find out. And folks, this is where they all end up in a telephone pole and a hydro pole graveyard. And with me to talk about what happens to them is Mr. Ray Miller. How you doing, Ray? Hi, Shell. Listen, what do you do with all these things? Well, we turn these into fencing and decking and landscaping products. And I understand that you're even thinking about getting into furniture. Yes, we've, uh, we've tried that and there's some good products coming out. Well, listen, show me around. Okay, let's do it. All right. The first part of our operation is the denailing process. Simple metal detection is what we found works well for us. Now, folks, here's an interesting poll. These are the age pins taken out of some of the poles in the year that they were put in the ground. So therefore, they're identifying the year. Here's one here, 1942. Oh, that was a real good year. In fact, uh, here's one right here I'll pull out, 1935. Imagine that, a pole that's been in the ground for over 60 years and getting a second life. Ray, I see a lot of uh, different lengths of poles here. What's that all about? Uh, well, typically the six to eight footers are cut for fencing and then the 10 footers to 20 footers are cut for your, for your decking and your landscaping. I see, so therefore the customer brings you the order and then uh, you buck up the poles to whatever length and uh, away you go. We custom cut the pole for them. Great. Next, the poles move onto the head rig. Now that head rig doesn't look like a new head rig to me. No, no, that was a recycled head rig also. Hey, that's great. Ray, I can see that they're getting the best yield out of the log here. Yes, that's the head rig's operator's responsibility is to try to get the best yield out of that pole. Here at the edger, Ray pointed out that he's got uh, three arbors, actually, three blades in there that can be cutting three different woods at one time, getting the best piece out of that slab of wood. Here at the trim saw, this is our last line on the wood process. This is where we square off the lumber and cut it to length. Well, folks, you can see all the different dimension laying out on the ground here, all to custom order. Think of it now. They used to carry telephone conversations. Now it's all usable wood. Look at this 1x4, beautiful product for fencing, 1x6, all full dimension. In fact, uh, right down to 1x1 one one material, which can be used for fencing or even in the vegetable gardens for staking up those veggies. Very, very little waste. Well, there you have it, folks, a beautiful western red cedar deck. And look at that water feature in the background. It almost makes you want to sit down and relax. Well, in fact, I think I will on this deck chair, which is made from recycled wood as well. You know, next time you're driving down the road and you see telephone poles and hydro poles, just think of the new life that companies like BC Wood Recycling are giving them.